I'm searching for some sunshine. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm your humble host, Picasso. Thanks for joining in. And today, guys, we are looking at an application that gives some reachability and some functionality for your Android device. Let's go ahead and let's get started. This is my Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. It is Android. It is uh, Android version 8.1, I believe. But of course, being my UI, which is the skin overlay on it, as you see here, the quick settings and the notification stage is a bit different from uh, normal Android devices, TouchWiz devices, Google Pixel devices, but it is very Pixel-esque. And I do actually prefer the look here to something like a TouchWiz launcher or a another uh, uh, different type of overlay like even the LG interface. I do actually prefer my UI over that. Now here I have a TouchWiz uh, device here, uh, it's my Note 5 running Android 7.0 Nougat, an older version, so uh, of course um, it's not uh, comparable to the newer Galaxy devices which most of them have been currently updated to One UI which has a little bit more reachability with main, mainly the notification shade and the quick settings toggles closer to the bottom for one handed use. But uh, as an older device like this, we don't have that option. So we have this, which is my UI if I let's go ahead and take a look and see how this helps any Android device with reachability and more one handed use. Let's go. So diving in, getting started, first we are greeted with some permissions, of course, that we need to give some accessibility, uh, some draw overlays, and of course the options here to turn on the notifications, which you do want to have those enabled. So we're just going to go ahead and set up some of these uh, permissions right away. Let's go ahead and get through all of this and get back to it. Now opening the app, we are greeted with the introduction. The initial introduction it says here, change handle trigger position. You can move the handle trigger to the right or left of the screen if you have uh, navigation gestures from there. This being an older device, don't have any navigational gestures, so we're good to go. It's telling the service is not running and we just go ahead and enable the service. And uh, now it's just letting you know where this little button is at the bottom of the screen. As you can see there right over the home button, that is where the little toggle or switch or button is where you're just going to swipe up and that's going to open the settings panel there with your little notification shade um, with toggles, of course, working there. The brightness slider works very well. And um, we're going to do a little comparison here and we're going to take it uh, right up against the original my UI. Um, overlay for Android and look at that. It is very, very close. I'm actually very impressed. I do like it, especially on this older device. I prefer it over the touch with launcher quick settings the way it is. It's of course older. It's Android Nougat on the Note 5 on the right here. So it is more squarish and and yeah, I mean that look, it's a little bit, you know, it's outdated now. Everything is more round corners, more light colors, uh, uh, circular uh, looking icons, etc. And I really do prefer it. And it's a, it's a good fit. Of course, the toggle slider does work. Very happy that the toggles actually do work. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all of that, it does work and let's continue now this application does provide more functionality we have bottom status bar here which is exactly what it sounds like it takes your status bar places it neatly at the bottom of your display and it houses it within a let's be honest it's a notch but uh, it's an in display notch it's not real it can always be taken away if you don't like it but it does actually look pretty nice. You do still have a, the ability to bring up the bottom quick settings panel and your bottom notification shade. And it's uh, it's pretty good. I actually do like it. Um, 
you are able to do some other things as well here as you see status bar size which basically raises it it doesn't get too big so it's not too intrusive i actually like it at 20 which is the max size there and as you see it just does give your home screen a nice a cleaner look there's no status bar at the top you still have all your information and as you see here you don't have to struggle to get to your notification shade some devices they may not be large but the way how you're holding your device it's still a bit hard to get to that notification shade and check your notifications with the my ui if i app and the bottom status bar you are able to reach it no matter what you're doing as you see here this is the stock touchwiz launcher so a problem that does arise is that on the touchwiz launcher you do have to swipe up for your app drawers uh, to get to your applications so you might want to use something a little different uh, in my case i am also running action launcher as well i do have hyperion launcher on there as well so there's different ways to get to your app drawer with double taps using gestures on those applications um, but if you are running a stock launcher and you have you know those gestures you're gonna have to make uh, accommodations for that because the bottom status bar and quick settings it is opened with a swipe up now here we just have some other uh, some other options within the settings here um, just you know basic stuff like that uh, notifications we also have uh, the quick settings tiles and uh, we have the colors. Uh, so we have some extra sliders here as well. We have sliders for your media volume, alarm volume, ring volume, and the notification volume. And everything works well. It functions, you know, as good as you would expect it to as you see here just the whole overall look of it is something that i'm really into i really just like it it's very clean and we're gonna get into the colors panel in a little bit where you're actually able to theme this uh notification shade as well so here we have the colors panel. Unfortunately, uh, it is a premium feature. I'm a little disappointed only because maybe even two, three or four of these themes or color schemes should have been available, you know, so you're able to really experience the app uh, in, in, a, in a wider variety, at least to see how it is with other colors. And then if you feel like it, you'd be able to purchase some other colors. Of course, for me, that would be great because I like to change up themes a lot. So even with this option um you know without having to spend the money to, to 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 really see if you actually do like it you have one or two or three maybe four of those themes available so you can try it out but it doesn't cost much it is just uh, $2.99 so three bucks and you do have all of those uh colors available to you and who knows maybe the app will be updated and it will also introduce some more color schemes uh, fingers crossed for that one Now, if you are having any type of issues uh, with reaching the handle, you are always able to, right here, as you see here, it says handle height. It was at nine. I changed it to 15. It just makes the height of the handle right the range where you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen it gives it a higher range so it's just a lot easier to trigger and to pull up here as you can see here so just keep that in mind check the handle height the handle width is basically i just have it all across uh, the bottom of the display with the trigger being centered right in the middle above the home screen and as you see here no miss it's always a hit every time um, again the the stock touchwiz launcher does have a swipe up on home screen to bring up the app drawers but uh, just keep that in mind as a little tip if you have any trouble uh, swipe turning on the trigger you can do it like that 
now just a bit of an explanation on my part um, if you guys haven't noticed by now I am doing a voiceover for this video um, I did record it already with audio um, using a new mic that I got that plugs directly into my camera and I basically just clipped the mic onto my shirt or just somewhere close in the area there but uh, it seems that there's gonna be a little it needs a little bit more setup and again I'm not a professional so the audio quality came out a bit shallow that's why the video is a little bit uh, I want to say out of sync and that's because I'm doing a voiceover because the audio for the original video that you're seeing did not come out as how I intended it to come out so just a little bit of an explanation well that's gonna wrap it up guys I hope you enjoyed the video as always I'm your humble host Picasso if you enjoyed please leave a like leave a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one peace I'm out. I know we're gonna be all right. I know we're gonna be all right.